Hi guys, Kathy here with Acrylic Pouring Madness. I am trying out two different things tonight that are new for me. I bought some new paints and they are Zenicolor. They come in a box like this. I got 12 tubes. Um, I am just using the rainbow colors. Um, primary yellow, orange, scarlet red. And then this is the color of their emerald green disappointed in that and then I what are the other colors um, 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 um Caribbean blue there's another one that one actually was pretty and then I made up my own indigo blue and then this is their violet color which is also pretty and then I am also trying out Elmer's um, clear glue. Thought I'd give that a little twirl. I'm not feeling very encouraged by it for some reason because it actually has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, which is not going to matter in this pour, but if I'm using white, I would be a little bit concerned about that. I'm just doing this, uh, just a traditional test out the colors flip cup and of the consistency of my paints they do seem a little bubbly which I call soapy they seem a little bit soapy which I'm also not encouraged by the only thing I think that I was encouraged by is um, you know when you get paints and you open up your lids if they're is a foil thing on there and you get to peel it off, you almost feel like it's a better quality instead of just opening it up and you can just squirt it out. But we'll try that. So I layered all of my cups. I did the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet in that order. I put only one drop of silicone in each cup. So let's get started. Wah. And also, I bought, and they were delivered today, some eco-friendly um, Canta Green cups, paper cups. Whoop, whoop. I don't know if you can see that, and I don't want to knock my paint over. Um, so, yeah, I just bought a bunch of little three-ounce ones because those are the ones I will use to mix up the individual colors. And I apologize because I did have some coffee a little bit late this afternoon. <laughs> I'm a little, a little, you know, <laughs> wired. Okay. And it's weird. I do think that the, I don't feel like that came out, um, that the clear glue is a little thinner. I did the... The pouring medium is 60, 40, 65, 35, somewhere in there. Um, but it definitely is thinner than like the glue all. And like, see how quick it's running off? Of course, I do have a lot of paint on there, but you know. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see how all of this gets along. Of course, the true test with these paints would probably be to use my regular pouring medium of Elmer's glue all to this, but I've seen a couple people using some clear glue. So I was a little curious how that would turn out. Okay. And don't worry, I am gonna pour more off of there. I just wanna torch it first and see what and if any cells come up. Today was a nice, quiet day. No patients in our one clinic that I was in, so it's just a good time to get caught up um, and have fun with my two favorite coworkers. Okay, here we go. Do some torching here. I think we'll get some cells because I've already seen one that poured off. 
And tomorrow I get one of my regular just square tables. So I will have a more level surface and I am super stoked about that. <gasps> so excited. I won't even know what to do with myself. I'm like constantly putting stuff underneath these push pins to get it leveled out. And I know there's probably an easier way. I know, I know, I know. But that wouldn't be any fun if you weren't constantly caring for your pieces of art. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I've had that song stuck in my head now for like two hours. The only one for me is you. And you and me, so happy together, so happy together. I know you don't want to hear me sing. I don't want to hear me sing. But, um, I can't sing. We were talking about that at work today. David and Andre can sing really well. David sings at his church all the time. Yeah, he has a beautiful voice. And I can't sing worth a hoot and holler. My mom used to make me sing, though. Oh, my goodness. Me and my sisters. Hey, we're getting some cells. Um, she made us sing this song, um, So Let the Sun Shine In. And my part was, um, Mommy told me something a little girl should know, and it's all about the devil, and I've learned to hate him so. <laughs> I mean, of course, that was like eons ago, like 50 years ago. Um, seriously, 50 years, probably. Well, maybe not, maybe more like 48, but still. Um, but I can't imagine singing a song like that with the word hate in it. And I guess it was a Flintstone song, Pebbles song. And I do believe I wore my hair in a little spout of a ponytail that day. <laughs> it was amazingly cute as a little girl. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, how times have changed. All right. So we have some good cells. That's good. And... They're nice and separated, that's good. So maybe this paint will prove me wrong. Let's hope so. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't the cheapest, but also wasn't the most expensive. I'm like the kind of middle of the road kind of gal on some things, not purses and not shoes. <laughs> you know, you have to have decent shoes and I buy a pair of Ugg boots every single year. Oh, my flame is running low. Um, and I like Michael Kors and Coach bags. And what else do I have? I don't know, but they last forever. I feel like when you invest in good shoes and good handbags, ladies, it is well worth it. Huh. I'm really, actually, kind of pleased with this. I like how all of the colors are playing together and they didn't wash out. So that's good. So you know what I'm going to do next, right? I am going to do a swipe. <laughs> not in this one. I'm actually going to keep this one because one, I want to see how it dries, especially with that clear glue shenanigans, which I just mix up in a little container like this. Whoop. And you can actually see bubbles in there. Maybe that's why I had bubbles in my paint. I don't know. Okay, Kathy, shut up and show the people up close. Let's get up close and personal. Here we go. Oh. All right, so here we go. This is the bottom of the paint. 
I'm sorry. I just think that's funny when people do that. Okay, so we got some pretty decent cells. I've seen more vibrant colors, I guess, for sure. Um, the orange is kind of washy, wishy-washy. The red, eh, a little wishy-washy. I guess the more the close-up I'm doing here, it's okay. I've had better results. Outstanding results with Master's Touch. But I am going to swipe. But that is what it looks like. And this is an 8 by 10 And I'm going to do a swipe. And I'll post that too. Bye.